let's say you need to add new skills to large language models what are the solutions that would come to your mind one continued pre-training two using some kind of a PEFT technique or a fine-tuning technique like QLORA to extend knowledge or skills these are the true techniques that would come to anyone's mind today in the LLM world but a new paper from Google Research and Google DeepMind that is called LLM Augmented LLMs Expanding Capabilities Through Composition It is a completely new method which is somehow you might feel like model merging but it is not model merging it is not fine tuning it is not continued pre-training at all it's a completely new technique that they're calling as CALM Composition to Augment Language Models CALM stands for Composition to Augment Language Models So this is a new technique which introduces cross attention between models to compose their representations and enable new capabilities and for this you don't need complete new fine tuning data set you don't need models of the same type like how you need in model merging so it has completely different approach and that gives you multiple advantages over existing models or existing techniques which helps in learning new skills for large language models so the main features of calm are it scales up large language models on new tasks by reusing existing LLMs along with a few additional parameters and data which we'll see shortly and the existing model weights are completely kept intact unlike QLORA where some layers are kept intact and some layers are updated in this case the entire model weight the existing model weights are completely kept intact hence it preserves the existing capabilities and finally it applies diverse domain and settings so whatever it learns it applies to it and as part of this they are demonstrating by augmenting palm to s with a smaller model trained on low resource languages results in an absolute improvement of 13 percent on tasks like translation into english arithmetic reasoning for low resource languages that means this is a technique that can actually enable large language models to do better on low resource languages as well let's take a quick overview of calm so let's say that you have a model an anchor model that's called mb so your mb is your anchor model with new capabilities you want to augment the anchor model which is like your base model with new capabilities through composition and the model with which you want to enable that knowledge or skill is what you call an augmenting model that is MA so MB is your base model or an anchor model MA is your augmenting model so it has got the key value mapping and this has got numeric arithmetic skills so these two models have got their own distinct skills so one model has got key value mapping skill the other model has got numeric arithmetic skill so distinctly these two models are good at the tasks that they are good at so for example MA is good at key value mapping MB is good at arithmetic skills but none of these models are good at the combined skills which is doing key value mapping or arithmetic on key value mapping so if you see key value mapping plus arithmetic these two models are not good at it but when you use calm the intersection the composition of MAB actually results in a new model or a new result that is good at the numeric arithmetic on key value mapping and that is the core and key of calm approach so what this enables is it lets you take two different models with two distinct skills and capabilities and it helps you compose those skills and capabilities ultimately get a new resultant model or new resultant system that is good with both these skills and capabilities 
they've done it with key value mapping composing with the numeric arithmetic model they've done it with a low resource pre-trained model low resource language model and they have combined it with another model they have taken a coding model and combined it with another model and in all these cases they have seen that the resulting model is notably better than the previous two models and also it does not forget what those models are good at it doesn't lose the existing capabilities of these models and rather learn a new capability which wouldn't have possible otherwise and like i said this is not model merging this is not fine tuning this is completely a new approach and in this new approach you can see the composition m a plus b is equal to it's a function of m a m b and phi c and d c so if you see this if you see this four objects that you have got here m a is one model m b is the other model so one of this is your augmenting model the other one is your anchor model and what is the phi c it's the additional set of trainable parameters that are introduced to learn the composition so this is what a very critical part and along with that dc refers to the set of examples that are used to learn this composition if you are wondering how this model would know that it has to learn the arithmetic key value or key value arithmetic skill and that actually comes from dc and this entire setup is what we call as calm composition to augment language models so you have got the anchor model mb you have got the augmenting model ma and these two models are combined in such a way with phi c and dc and now if you are wondering how the composition happens the phi c that is where the magic happens about the composition so they operate over a selected set of layers from both ma and mb at all times and this the set of additional parameters over these layers learned so a simple set of linear transformations f projection that maps the ith layer representation it could be second layer third layer whatever the layer representation from ma to the dimensionality of the representations from mb so if you see this you have got ma the ith layer that is projected to the uh, respective layer in mb and this is where this technique differs from model merging if you have model merging the two models that you merge should have the same principles should be the same model like most of the model merging techniques whether it is like the basic averaging or it is like something like slurp everything requires you to have the same set of models if it is like mistral mistral you need mistral mistral but this one can help you deal with two different kind of models at least that's what they're saying but in the example they have used only palm based models but overall you can see what they are saying is you can use different types of models and the result will still uh, be better and the result will be better which is explained through these benchmarks so gsm 8k they have done the math test the high school or the grade math test with the low resource languages while you can see calm doing better on low resource languages calm also does better on high resource languages which they are saying that it is a sign that calm avoids catastrophic forgetting so this is a problem when you try to use two different models in different ways like fine tuning and all the other things the model can forget what it has learnt in the first place but in this approach calm approach is saying that it doesn't happen and that's why they have shown it with low resource language and also they have shown it with high resource language overall this is a very interesting approach this does not come with any code this does not come with any example that you can try out easily they have tested it with palm 2s like i said like the google models but overall if this code becomes available or if if they decide to open source this code i think it will be pretty interesting because i'm already excited to see what people are making with model mergers but this can open up a new whole world of how you can expand augment skills for existing ai models